Yes, ladies and gentlemen, episode 7 of Aim to be a Pokemon Master titled Riding on Lapras just dropped. Nash reunites with this Lapras in this episode, so let's talk about it. This episode begins with the reunion as Lapras arrives near a beach crying a little bit where Ash and Co are watching Wilmer bounce. It's Pikachu who first recognizes the Lapras from the Orange Island. Even though the reunion is nice, the Lapras is clearly in distress, so Ash, Missy, and Brock tag along with Lapras to see what the issue is. They arrive at a crag to see that there's a Wailord stuck there. Now, as this episode at the end itself points out, this entire thing could have been solved if Ash just caught the Wilmer and then released it. However, if that was the case, we wouldn't get the rest of this episode. So our heroes try to figure out a way to pull it out and decide that both Ash and Missy will use their fishing rods to pull it out of the hole. They get help from their Pokemon, Ash from his far-fetched Pikachu, Heracross, Kingler, and Misty from Brock's Marsh Tomp, and Ash's Bayleaf. They pull and pull and eventually they're successful as the Wilmer is pulled out of the hole it was stuck in. It gets excited and it's bouncing around when it falls into another hole with water. This time, while it could easily get out, things get complicated when it evolves into a Wailord, causing it to get stuck even more in the crag. As always, Latias is watching, so now our heroes have to come up with another solution. That's when Pikachu spots Team Rocket spying on them. And I actually love this. Team Rocket usually gets away with blatant spying on our heroes, but not this time. And Pikachu takes them almost hostage by threatening to send them packing with Thunderbolt. So, with them also being involved now, Ash comes up with an idea to use more manpower to pull it out. Ash brings out his Torterra. Ash then goes down to the cave where the Whale Lord is. Torterra uses Frenzy Plant to grab a hold of Whale Lord. Misty brings out our Gyarados. All of the other Pokemon around will help pull along with Team Rocket's mech the frenzy plant wrapped Wailord and they pull and pull and then as everyone is pulling hard Heracross, Ash, and Bayleaf tickle the Wailord to get it moving around and eventually with everyone pulling on it and Wailord moving around it uses Heavy Slam to jump out into the ocean. Pikachu then opens the top of the submarine and gets away because Team Rocket wanted to capture them and Wailord landing on the ocean causes a massive splash sending Team Rocket blasting off. However now, Ash is stuck in the cave. I'm not really sure how because there was a giant hole in the top but I guess Heavy Slam caused the cave to collapse. Regardless, now that Ash has helped out Wailord, Wailord has to return the favor so Lapras talks to the Wailord before Lapras uses Ice Beam on the water leading to the cave where Ash is and it freezes the entire cave floor. Then Wailord uses Weather Ball to create a giant hole through the middle of the ice. Lapras then uses that ice tunnel, a callback to one of the races it did in the Orange Island for one of the Orange Island badges, to go pick up Ash. And with that, everyone is happy. As evening arrives, Lapras' group arrives, meaning now it has to leave. When our heroes head back to their journey, Misty mentions that they could have used a Pokeball to fix this entire issue, and that's where this episode ends. This is one of those episodes that really feels like it's for kids, and even then, kids aren't that stupid. I think even they could have figured out the Pokeball capture solution. It feels like the premise should have been better. They should have figured out a way to not allow the Pokeball thing to be a solution at all, so what our heroes did actually mattered. Regardless, one thing that this episode does have is the bringing back of so many any past Pokemon. Gyarados, Torterra, Heracross, Kingler, Marshtomp. There's so many Pokemons we haven't seen in such a long time that it was a fun watch just for that. And even though I complained about it, I do think Pokemon acknowledging that they could have solved this issue immediately at least shows that they were aware of the flaws in this episode. That doesn't mean they shouldn't have tried to fix it, but it does show that they did try thinking about this thing. Overall, it's an episode that doesn't have much substance in terms of its overall plot, but it allows the return of many Pokemon and the involvement of them in this episode feels warranted. Go ahead and check it out. The next episode looks strange. It looks like it's about a Banette and Ash's Gengar, and it looks like it might be some sort of Valentine related episode. I'm intrigued to see what it's all about. But anyways, that is it from a review of episode 7 of Aim to be a Pokemon Master. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. You can follow me on Twitter at the Gaming, and that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.